All right, so I realize it's been a while since I did a garden update, a long while. So I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of the garden right now. There's not a ton going on in it right now because it's um, June 4th and we're pretty much at the end of our spring growing season here in uh, the Bradenton, Florida area. I'm in growing zone 9B. So I had a bunch of cucumbers this year. I did pickling and made pickles with them and uh, regular ones. I just planted, I pulled them all up about three weeks ago and planted these um, Summer Dance, which is a variety that's more heat tolerant, just to see if I could get something to go through the summer. It's really hard to grow them in the summer, I've heard in Florida. It's a habanero plant. I just harvested about 40 habaneros today and made hot sauce. I tried sweet corn over here and it was uh, a failure. They didn't really go past about a foot tall. So I pulled all those and I just planted peanuts. And uh, as you can see, these are starting to come up pretty good. So I think around October, those should be ready. The tomatoes are looking pretty rough right now. I had um, some larger varieties that I only got a few off of each that were, were good without bugs and worms. I had a bunch of Roma tomatoes. Still a few green ones on the plant. This is an Everglades, which is a Florida native uh, cherry tomato, and that did really well. Still got some on there. The Cherokee purple and um, some skewer-sized tomatoes. And over here, had some Blue Lake pole beans. I've still got a few of them on there, you can see. This one there. And then around the bottom, I've got speckled butter beans that I'm just waiting for the pods to kind of brown and then dry up. Harvested a, I don't know, 50 of those so far. Got some uh, holy basil. Got some green peppers that are still growing here. I tried an in-ground row for the first time this year. I didn't really add too much to the soil, so I wasn't expecting too much, but Got some zucchini and yellow squash and more jalapeno and some tomatoes. I think I'm going to use this in-ground row for potatoes in the fall. Try that. And then this is a watermelon plant that I planted too late. I've got my hot pepper bed that I just put up a 50% shade cloth for the summer and so far that's doing really well. Like I said, I just harvested about 50 habaneros off of these plants. These are uh, scotch bonnets over here. I've gotten about, I don't even know, over a hundred cayennes that I've mostly dried and ground up into red pepper flakes. It's a ghost pepper plant. These are all jalapenos here. Probably gotten about 50 or 60 jalapenos this season. Made a bunch of poppers and different things. You can see I've got a few that are ready to pick now. It's a better view of the scotch bonnets. These are chocolate scotch bonnets, so they turn brown when they're ripe. They're really hot. And then over here, we got these are uh, desert zucchini. You can see what those look like. There's one right there. Got probably 20 zucchini. And then um, crookneck yellow squash, that's just a tiny one there. A few of those left, so probably going, going to go ahead and pull a lot of these things up here soon. And then in uh, late July, start seedlings for the, the spring garden. And uh, I'll try and do another video in the spring to update you on uh, where that sits.